What is going on guys? We are live in the Poke Cave watching some crazy crazy Pokemon cards auctions ending right this very second. There are cards up for sale that are over $100,000. So much stuff. Let's jump into it. So right here we have a Gem Mint 9.5 first edition base set Shadowless Charizard which is already at $128,000. Thousand dollars. These are going to be our live reactions here to all of the auctions that are going off here right now. Because if you guys don't know, this is PWCC auctions, and if we look at the results here, there are over 1,100 auctions going off right now over the next 30 minutes, and some of them are going to be ending right here in just a couple minutes. Let's jump in and see what other huge auctions we have going off here. Uh, so, to start off again, that was that 9.5 charge out of over $128,000. Remember, guys, this was a card that four months ago, five months ago, was maybe $25,000 at the most, and the, the uptick in Pokemon card prices is really crazy but what's up everybody that is live here in the chat watching this go down let's see what else we have oh and if one wasn't enough there's another 9.5 that's over a hundred and twenty five thousand dollars and there are some huge hitter trophy cards so check this out the Kangaskhan trophy card in a perfect gem mint 10 condition at over one hundred thousand dollars this is one of the top trophy cards that you can get um, Parent-child competition, which these were awarded to. This is a population of 11. This is one of those 11 cards. Besides that, though, there are... Whoa, okay, hold on a second. This can't be right. This can't be right. This booster box is at over... Oh, wait, no, it just updated. They must have dropped the price on it. So there's some shill bidding going on already, guys, just so you're aware of it. This said 70000 on here, and then I just reloaded it, and it's down to 32000 So PWCC uh, looks like they're working behind the scenes to grab... Uh, prices out or bids out that are not legitimate. We got some more Charizards, huge trophy cards, um, Tropical Mega Battle trophy card that's already at over $50,000. Some of these are going to start popping off here um, really shortly. A nine Charizard in mint condition, over $45,000. We've got the University Prize Magikarp, another trophy card here that's over $44,000 in perfect gem mint condition. I believe there's over a thousand of these, or a thousand of these were awarded. Uh, there is another jungle booster box at 36,000. Let's see if that is still there. So 36,000. I mean th Keep in mind we got to wait to make sure that um, All this stuff is paid for so we'll know at the end of the next auctions But let's do a refresh here and let's see I think we got some that are gonna be ending here any second So what I want to do there's also a base set of 35,000. I mean I Was expecting a lot of stuff to really start exploding from these auctions. So what we're gonna do is ending soonest and let's see what we have popping off here. So 30 seconds left. All right, let's get it, guys. These auctions are going to start ending right this second. So, guys, if you're excited for this, make sure you smash the like button on the video. We're going to start off with Top Sun Hollow Cards. Guys, keep in mind, Top Sun Hollow Cards, you can open up an entire booster box of Top Sun and not pull out a single Hollow card, and we got tons of them here in PSA 10 condition. So let's see these ending right here. A Charizard at $35,000. Five seconds left to go. Gem Mint 10, Top Sun. It's going to end at $37,600. Blastoise ending at $20,000. Top Sun, first ever printed Pokemon cards ever. These are the first of the first. Pikachu, $15,000. Uh, we got the... Nido Queen at 1500. These are all gem at 10. These are extremely hard to find. Nido King. Um, these are huge hitter for people that are looking for the top sun cards. Insane. We're gonna go through. We got an Eevee at almost three thousand dollars. I'm going to lose my voice tonight. hundred percent. Vaporeon at three thousand. Jolteon. Where's the Jolteon love? Under two thousand on that one. These are all gem mint ten. Flareon. That's under sixteen hundred. Everybody's giving the love to Eevee and Vaporeon. Articuno around $1,800. Zapdos pulling in around $2,100. Moltres ending at $2,200. Dragonite, a big hitter, $2,300. These are huge hitters. Mewtwo over $5,000. So you can see prices are also based a lot on the popularity of the actual Pokemon. But guys, I don't have any time to take a breath here because there's over 1,000 auctions ending. I have no idea how I'm going to keep up with these. But here we go. We've got Charizards already ending. The Trophy Kangaskhan. I'm missing this. Charizard, 13000 for a Japanese base set in a PSA 10. Trophy Kangaskhan ending at 150 
thousand dollars. We are going to go through all of these and relook at all the big hitters tonight um, that ended for crazy high amounts and just the overall the huge ones here. So we still have time to catch this uh, University Magic Carp. Um, we got some packs here too. Big hitters, first edition base coming up. All right, I'm gonna lock in right now and just start pulling these up. This is Charizards for days, first edition base set. Um, just going and going. All right, we'll hit it. We'll stop at the Gyarados. So this Charizard ended at under a little under seven thousand. The Magic Carp University fifty thousand dollars. These are huge hitters. This is the biggest auction that I've ever seen before. It's insane. A ten first edition German pack. Graded by PSA. They fold the flaps in, so some people like it, some people hate it. $1,500 on that one. We've got a Blastoise. A PSA 8 First Edition Base Set Shadow is ending at $16,000. That is massive for an 8. An 8.5 ending at $11,400. We got a 9 closing at just shy of $20,000 for a 9. Now, here come the Charizards. And a PSA 2, 6,500. These are the top of the top Charizards. 8,100 for a 4. We got a 5 ending at 10,800. A 6 at 13,200. We got a 7 from Beckett ending at 15,100. It's going to keep getting bigger. 16,700 on that one for a 7 from PSA. Another 7 at 17,350. 8.5 from Beckett ending at 30 grand for an 8.5 Beckett. 8.5 thick stamp at 28 grand. We got a 9 from Beckett at over $60,000. A 9 first edition from uh, PSA at $55,000. And a 9.5 Beckett, the one that we were looking at earlier, ending at $128,000. Um, so we're going to move through here to the Gyarados. These are already ending. Let's go. We got to get caught up here. We got all these. These are the ones. These are the cards that everybody's been looking to see what they end at. So those were the hollows from base set that we pulled up here. Gyarados, 3,004 and 9. Um, so we got another 9. We got, let's let's skip a couple of these Machamps and get caught up here. Uh, Mewtwo, 3,000 for a Beckett 8.5. Ninetales, 386 for a PSA 5. An 8 going for 1,400. A Raichu and a PSA 9 going for $6,000 tonight. 6,900 for a Venusaur 8.5 from Beckett. 12,600 for a 9. Venusaur's getting the love now. <laughs> if you guys thought Venusaur wasn't getting the love, uh, I mean, it's it's really there. 1,400. And now we're moving into the non hollows from base set. So let me do a quick refresh here. Let's, let's get caught up a little bit. All right. So we're going through some of these. We got to move quicker than this. Here we go. Pikachu's. We got a lot of these are just eights and sevens, which are going for a good amount. All right, let's get caught up, and then we're going to start off. Then we're going to get caught up to base set. So a Pikachu Yellow Cheeks first edition base set and a nine. I'm curious what this will go for. A lot of people are going for the Red Cheeks. This is the Yellow Cheeks version. It's at eighteen hundred right now. First edition base set Shadowless. Let's see if it bumps any higher than eighteen hundred dollars for this nine Yellow Cheeks. About eighteen hundred on that one. Now we got another nine going for. Looks to be sixteen hundred fifty. Okay, Ponyta's moving in on there. These are lower end PSA eights, so all in the same range. Excuse me on those. So we could skip some of those, and we've got the Pikachu Black Star in a nine. I'll leave that one up. That's got fifteen seconds left. But then we want to move into base set. This is base set limit. This is huge right now because first edition base set has become really unattainable for so many people. Now base set unlimited has been seeing huge growth. Base set unlimited booster boxes. I think I've seen sell for $35,000 plus and tonight we might be breaking some records so let's see Blastoise did an 8 base set unlimited going for $900 at 10 at $6,700 that one really shocked me on there what do you guys think of that Blastoise PSA 10 6700 for a base set unlimited craziness 2300 for a Zard in an 8 5150 for a 9 base set unlimited and then a 10 from um, this other grading company for under 10,000. A 10! Woo! A PSA 10. Base set unlimited charge that has just sold for over $30,000 tonight. We are definitely going to re check out that one for a base set unlimited. I remember when these things were $1,500. Now they're pushing $30,000. A Machamp uh, trainer deck A going for 10000 in a PSA 10. Um. 
got to get caught up here. We've got the Mewtwo's 2600 in a 10 base set unlimited. We've got, let me see some of the bigger hitters here from base set. 6600 for a PSA 10 Venusaur from base set unlimited. And guys, if you're just joining up right now, we are going through all of the auctions from PWCC, PWCC that are ending tonight here. Um, there are tons and tons of huge hitters. I hope I didn't miss um, the the unlimited booster boxes. I don't see... Did they put the booster boxes up at a different time here? Oh, here it is. Oh, one minute. All right, we're, we're good on that. So, what did they... Oh, they're doing Shadow... Uh, where am I at? Where am I at? Shadowless is ending right now. All right, we got to just skip right to Charizard. Shadowless. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Speed. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. And then these... Why are these just mixed in here? Oh, these are... Okay, these are a different language. I'm going to pull that one up. All right, we got to move fast. Uh, PSA 2, Shadowless Charizard, $2,000. PSA 6, $4,000. We got a 8, Shadowless Charizard, going for over $7,000. An 8, another one at over $7,000. We got a 9.5, Shadowless Beckett, going for $54,000 for a Gem Mint Beckett grade. Guys, the market is on fire right now. Gyarados in an 8. We got a 9 going for $840. This is Shadowless, so you get the same first edition artwork. You just don't get the stamp. So it's right between uh, first edition base set and unlimited. It was right in the middle there. It's like the middle child of base set. Uh, we got Yellow Cheeks Pikachu Shadowless going for... It's at $255 right now. And a 9. And there's also a 10 that's ending right after that one. So the 9 is going for about $370. let us see what this 10 goes for. All right, $890 for the 10. Now we've got a Charizard base set unlimited BGS 8. I don't know why this one's thrown in here. Oh, it doesn't have the subgrades. So I guess they threw it in there for some reason. $1,600 on that one. And then a 9 at $4,150. Okay. Now we got German Charizard going for a 9 going for almost $7,000 for German. We got a 9 going for $7,000 again. And then a 10. German Charizard are going for over $33,000. And this is it, guys. The base set unlimited booster box, which I've been wanting to see. It's at $35,600. Will it bump any higher to that last second? $35,800. And ending at $35,800 for a base set unlimited booster box. Just so you guys are aware, these were going for around $4,000 at the beginning of this year. So, been going up and up and up. Now we're moving into Fossil. There's a lot of Aerodactyls in here for some reason. So, whoa, there's a, okay, oh, pre-release. So, we got all these pre-release Aerodactyls, and, okay, I'll pull up some of these, and then we're moving into Articuno. So, this is Fossil, and I don't know if they didn't have any jungle cards this time or not, but jungle is actually right after base set, so unless they put Fossil before that for some reason, I don't know, but there's a lot of Fossil cards. There's just a lot of everything here. Let me do a, I gotta do a page refresh here. I gotta take a sip. This is getting wild. All right, let's see what is happening right now. All right, so they did the jungle after Fossil for some reason. So, all right, they do that normally in order of release. So, let's just skip through some of these lower grades. Nothing too crazy. A 9. All right. Here's a 10 Aerodactyl from Fossil going for 1100 A $1,300 one. Then we've got the pre-release Aerodactyls in 9s going for about 250 200-ish. Now we got a 10 going for 1175 Articuno in lower grades. Let's see if we can... So a 1400 for a PSA 9 Articuno. I got caught up a little bit here, guys. I just passed something crazy. 4000 for an Articuno, I think I saw. 1600 for a Dragonite Beckett 9. A PSA 9, 9 Dragonite Fossil going for 1900 Another 9 going for 1600 from PSA. And then we got 10000 on this Dragonite. Uh... PSA 10, Gem Mint, First Edition, Dragonite, Hollow, going for just shy of $10,000. Madness. All right, we got to continue down here and see what else we got. So, um, we got Hitmon Lee. Uh, let's pull up the 10s because I just can't keep up with a lot of this stuff. There's just too many ending. So, let me pull up 10 so I can at least breathe a little bit here on these Fossil cards. And they do nines, and then they they anchor them with the tens. It looks like okay. So there's nine hollows in ten. All right, that's what we got to do to be able to keep up here. Okay, we're we're barely getting through this, guys. We're only at fossil. They do these in order of release. So Hitmon Lee ending at eight hundred and thirty dollars. 
Nine, uh, 960 in a 10. Hypno in a 10 going for 660 from Fossil. 1500 for a Kabutops. So here's Lapras. This is a tough card to get in a PSA 10. Uh, it's at 2,800. Just bumped the 3,000. First edition Lapras Hollow from Fossil. Just bumped to 4,000 dollars. 5,000. Okay, 5,000 on the Lapras. We got Magneton in Hollow. Somebody show Magneton the love. Oof. 600 dollars on the Magneton. Over 2,000 on Moltres in a 10. All right, let's see what this one goes for. 2,000. First ever printing of Moltres here. Let's see what it goes for. Hollow First Edition Fossil PSA 10, 2,000. I feel like that's a good deal. 1,300 on the Raichu in a PSA 10. Lapras going for 5,000. Yeah, guys. So Lapras has always been like a tough card to get in a 10. And. Yeah, so Raichu. We also got the Zapdos. Looks like it's at 1300 If you guys notice, the Zapdos always has this error on the top here. They put the evolution box in, but the, you guys know Zapdos doesn't evolve from anything, so they just have like this weird outline of it on the cards. And Raichu ending at $1,775. We got Zapdos coming up in 10 seconds. We got... Then we're moving into the non-hollows from Fossil. So those ones... All, even non hollows guys, that's the thing. So it's like, if you're opening up a pack and even you pull a non hollow rare and it comes back a PSA 10, a lot of times that alone um, is worth the value of it. So Zapdos 1500. Aerodactyl in a 10 non hollow going for 315 $860 for a non hollow Articuno from Fossil. 270 for a Ditto. $730 for a PSA 10 non hollow a non hollow from Fossil. $565 for a PSA 10 Gengar first edition non hollow. Haunter 385. 222 for Hitmon Lee. Hypno 222. Kabutops 170. Lapras at $340. And then Magneton. Poor Magneton getting 160. Poor Magneton. Okay, let me do a refresh here and see how we're looking. So, are we coming up on the box yet? So, the boxes are coming up really soon. So, I'm interested to see what these booster boxes sell for. Let's take a breath here. We got a lot of non hollows that are ending. I mean, a lot of them you'll see, you know, over $100, some over $200. These are commons, uncommons, etc. So, even those cards from this um, are you know they're valuable i mean every single vintage card now is valuable um and let me not let me know guys what is the craziest thing somebody said elon musk is buying everything elon musk is buying everything and is just going to bring it to outer space so we got three fossil first edition booster boxes ending in about less than a minute here they're all around sixteen thousand ish or so so there's three on the market i wonder if that'll hurt the prices or not but I don't know. I really don't think it will much because there's just so much demand for sealed products. So we're going to be coming up on these now. Um, and then again, like you can see all these non hollows that are ending around 100, you know, 125. Psyduck's at 400. I'm interested to see what this Psyduck ends at. Um, and then, yeah, like Fossil for the non hollow commons and uncommons, there's not like a ton um, of like big hitter Pokemon. And the set's really small. So if you guys don't know, Fossil is 62 cards in the set. So, and this was before, you know, Secret Rares or anything like that. So, nice. Evan said I just won the Hypno First Edition. All right. So, Psyduck, what are you going to end at? Let's see. 14 seconds left. Grimer ended for $152. That's a common card in Fossil. So, let's pull up these. All right, let's pull up the Fossil boxes, too. Let's see what. All right. Psyduck. Who's getting the Psyduck? $405. All right. Ending at 405 So, now we're going to see. We've got... Here they go. All right. These are going off. Guys, put your guesses in. How much do you think these... For, okay. 20000 is what it's at already for that one. 15000 and 16000 Guys, put your guesses in the chat. How much do you think these Fossil First Edition booster boxes are going to um, end at? What, what's the price, you think? <laughs> I know, might go play. I know, right? <laughs> All right. Here we go. Here we go. 20K says enthused. Let's see. 20100 Let's see if any of the other ones bumped. 15,700, 16,000. So this first one looks like it's at the highest right now. 20,100 looks like that one's ending at. This one's at 16,6. Will he bump it? 18 on that one. This one's at 16,6. Will it get bumped? Two. 
Okay, so so twenty thousand on the first one, second one eighteen thousand, the third one sixteen thousand. So a pretty wide spread there, around four thousand spread on those three. So that's interesting. So all right, let's let's keep it rolling here. What do you guys think of sixteen on a fossil first edition? I think I feel like that's like a good price now. So now we've got CGC, the newest grading company. It's interesting they separated these. So they they're just going back. Oh wait, no, these are Dutch. So that's why they separated them. So they'll do like English first and then Dutch. So we've got Dutch fossil cards ending here um, from CGC. And it looks like somebody, it's probably just one person that sent most of these in. So you got German, you've got, and then it looks like we're going back to, no, these are all different languages. Okay. Kangaskhan. Let's see. Let's see. What There's a Kangaskhan from jungle so they did yeah they did fossil first for some reason okay so like different language cards i'm not sure market prices on a lot of these are lower some of them are lower grade some of them are a little bit higher and then let's let's do like a re let's do like uh let's see what's happening like let's just see let's see a broader picture because there's still eight over 800 auctions that are ending here so this will give us a second to breathe while these other language like german and stuff end, and we can get caught up a little bit here so all right so we got like what a minute left and then they're gonna jump into jungle so big hitter jungles are coming up in a minute that'll give us a time let's put them in order highest to lowest and see what else there is so there's still um oh you know what this was a charizard it looks like from last auction that didn't get paid for because it still has two days left so this one did not get paid for but it looks like it's going to be going for higher than last time so that's from last time you'll know if something got relisted if it still has a couple like if it, they won't end at the same time as these ones all right so we still got the trophy cards uh tropical mega mega battle a couple of those we still have the first edition jungle boxes that keep pushing through this was at 36k this is at 32 chinese first edition base set is actually really hard to find and then so these are getting mixed up a little bit there's some that were relisted so that was a relist you could tell the ones that end on thursday were relisted we still got jungle booster boxes too. Those are pushing almost twenty thousand dollars. Rocket Dark Charizards. There's like a bunch of them in PSA ten. We got Crystal Lugia. Um, you got of course the fan club Shining Magic Carb. Yanma from Neo Discovery. If you guys don't know, is a really tough card to get in a PSA ten. I this could go for a lot more than eight thousand. We're gonna see what happens with that one. Um, there's the rocket boxes as well. So there's still a lot to go here. We've got the jungle. All right evolutions guys that's all i'm gonna say i'm just gonna say evolutions there you go psa 10 charizards from evolutions evolutions is blowing up uh i mean it's just it, it, there's a lot of stuff with evolutions there's also a fan club eevee as well that's a big hitter so we got the, there's a lot of big stuff here so all right let's uh let's let's go back here let's put them back in order that are ending soonest all right let's get it Guys, if you're just joining up here, we are doing PWCC live auctions. Over a thousand high-end Pokemon cards, sealed products, trophy cards. I mean, you name it, all are ending right now. Jungle is about to start ending. I gotta, I gotta uh, rehydrate for the. Oh, and, and Vaporeon is over nine thousand. I gotta rehydrate for this one. This one's gonna be crazy. All right, I got all the hollows up. Let's go. Six seconds left. First edition, PSA 10, Pidgeot, Hollow. It's at $1,300, $1,500, All right, so another one, $1,600. Now we got a Pinsir and a 9 at $350. A 10 at $1,350. So they do the 9s first, Scyther 9. Scyther and a 10 at $2,000. These are Jungle First Edition We've got a uh, PSA 3 Snorlax that actually ended at over $200. Now we got an 8 Snorlax at uh, 1000 We got an 8.5 Beckett at 655 Now a 10 Snorlax first edition just ended at over $15,000 for a PSA 10. Dude, that is crazy. All right, the Vaporeon 916. I got to see what this 10... The 10 ends at $14,700. Guys, let me know in the chat what you think of these prices that are going on right now. Jungle is blowing up. Base is blowing up. Fossil's blowing up. Rocket's even blowing up. Jungle is really blowing up, though. All right. We got a 10 Victory Bell. Not the most popular Pokemon going for about $1,200. We got a 10 Vileplume. Not the most popular going for under 1000 
Then we got a Wiggly Tough, another one that's not super popular, but it went for about two grand. It's a little typical. It's pretty difficult to grade. Then this one went for twenty five hundred. So I think those were all the hollows from Jungle. And then of course, if you guys want to see the non hollows, uh, these are already ending. Flareon three sixty five, four hundred on the Jolteon, Kangaskhan two fifty. Does this update like this? No, it doesn't. So I have to refresh the page. So that could have went for more. So like the Flareon and Jolteon, it says 365 and 405, 385 and 430. All right, so I, I want to see if there's like Pikachus from Jungle up on here. So they're still doing the rares. So um, let's do Vaporeon. Let's just pick up, I'm just going to pick out some big hitters here because it's just, there's too many. Let's just pick up some big hitter cards. So we're doing, they do it in, in order of rares and then uncommon then commons i'm just gonna pull out some of these i want to see where's our all right so here's cubone eevee and where's pikachu jigglypuff that's another one Mankey's in the middle there pikachu okay all right i, I want to know what these pikachus end for let me know guys in the chat how much do you think the first edition psa 10 non-hollow pikachus are gonna go for all right there's uh, oh, this is a gold foil one. Is this a W stamp? Uh, this is non. Okay, so there's only one really. That's from Jungle, the main booster box set. Let me know. It's at 890 now to 10. Let me know what you think this is gonna go for. This one's a different. This one has the stamp on it, so that's not out of the box. There's a W stamp. You guys will know right here. But let's let's go. Let's see what we got going on here. Vaporeon 420 dollars. Butterfree 305. Non hollow. Uh, 235. 2 244 for the Executor. So we got a Marowak, aka Cubone's mom, at 130, 132. Come on, let's go. Let's see what happens on this one. Not like a super popular Pokemon, but it's an uncommon. So definitely 140. Every single card in a jungle booster pack is valuable. All right, so you guys are putting it in 1100. Somebody said 3300. Uh, 990. Somebody said 1400, 975. All right, let's see. I think it'll go for 1100, it's my guess. We got a Persian 182, the Primate ending at about 100. All right, here's Cubone. This is a big hitter. So the big hitter commons in jungle right now are Cubone, Eevee, Jigglypuff is up there. It's like the lowest of the, the four or five big ones. And then like Pikachu is already at 950. Those are like probably the most expensive commons. Uh, but like in order, the most expensive I would say is Pikachu, then probably Eevee. Although Eevee's pushing ahead, then Cubone. So Cubone's 390. Eevee's over 1,000. Eevee went over 1,000. Jigglypuff is at 300. It's not like super, super popular, but it's definitely up there in like a top five commons. Mankey at 160. And then Pikachu. All right, it's at 1,000. There's still 17 seconds left. I guess 1,100, so... Let's go. Let's see. And again, guys, if you're enjoying this type of content, don't forget to hit the like button. Share out the video on Instagram, Facebook, wherever. And let's get it. Let's see what we got on this one. 1100 I was going to bump more than that. 1150 That was close. I said 50 off. So 1150 That's probably, I think that's probably a new record on the Pikachu. Then the W stamp actually went for less. 985 Almost 1000 on that one. So uh, let's do a refresh here. See where we're at. Guys, I'm going to try to keep up with this as best I can. It is just mayhem. Normally, we're used to, like, at the most 500 listings, 600. They just, they just like, doubled. So, now we're moving in. We got French um, Hollows from Jungle, which, and German, and then, let's see what else. Okay, the Jungle Booster Box. 50,000! <sighs> okay. I don't know. If, obviously, again, you don't know what's legit or not okay see people are totally trolling this jungle first edition box right now there's so many people that have trolled this box it's crazy <laughs> it's at 700 000. watch there's probably people watching this live stream just trying to troll this is like the most trolled jungle booster box i've seen and it's only like it's only this one that keeps getting trolled right now all right 700 000. pwcc's got to be working overtime right now on this one and, and that's the thing pwcc you got private, you put private on here, right? So this, this is what happens. Now we can't like really dig into what's happening because there's people clearly clowning this listing. So we can't see who the bidders are. So I don't know why PWCC decided to make it private. So I'm sure with a little bit of investigation, the Pokemon community can figure out who, who this is, right? 
So say so they they went down to 50, then it went back up to 900. Dude, people are they they just gotta ban them. They just gotta they just gotta ban them. But people are doing it last second. So these so this this one's probably trolled too. It's already at 70. There's no way because if we go on eBay right now, um, and we do like first jungle box Pokemon. Let's see, and we put them. Let, let's see like what's listed because there's no. So like right now there's. Uh, well, there's actually no buy it nows, but the lowest ones are these auctions around 20,000. You can buy one right now for 35,000. This is probably going to sell. I'm going to guess that this is going to sell tonight. This $35,000 box of jungle. A million! We did it! We did it! We hit a million! <laughs> oh, 1.2. I feel like everybody is just jumping in on this right now. PWCC is probably going to be so mad at this live stream. They're going to be like, everybody probably just went in there and just started trolling this. 1.2 million. Guys, just as a, as a disclaimer, this is a 100% illegitimate box. But we did it, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I didn't. I, I had nothing to do with this. <laughs> 70,000. All right. This is mayhem. So those jungle boxes, we don't really know what they would have went for. They got trolled. So these are either going to get... These are probably going to have to get relisted. So, PWCC, if you're watching this, take off the privates. Take off the private listings. The private bids. It's not doing anybody good right now. It lets people troll. People can just troll. Alright. Let's 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 um, let's see what else is happening now. So, these didn't end yet. Okay. So, we're into Dutch Unlimited. Let, let's do like another... We got time here. What comes up after these? Then we move into the... Japanese Bandai cards. There's only like a handful of them. And then we move into um, Genesis. So, um, like Japanese cards, Japanese Genesis, a lot of like Japanese cards on here. Then we have the trophy card that's ending, a couple of the trophy cards that are ending in two minutes. So, we got a little bit of time. We got like a, um, probably got like 60, maybe not even now. Let me see. Yeah, we don't have we have a little bit of time left, but uh, just really quickly for like 15 seconds here. Let's see what's um... <laughs> let's see. So we still have this one. These are the top two most um, highest bid ones right now that are ending in a minute. The Japanese promo Tropical Mega Battle in a PSA 10 uh, Mega Battle number two card is an authentic, so it wasn't graded on condition. So and then besides that, this is a big hitter too. This. Um, Chinese first edition box. These are tough to find. And then we got the rocket boxes are ending in 11 minutes as well. A bunch of Charizards from Rocket. So there's still a lot. Like, and then the Neo stuff. There's still a lot of stuff left here to go. So let's, um, let's take a, a little rehydrate here and let's get into it. All right, guys. The mayhem. The Pokemon mayhem. All right, so where are we at here? So we got a lot of stuff mixed in. We've got, I like to see these Lugias. I'm just going to pull up some cards because I'm not going to be able to keep up with all these. I do want to see this Pichu. I want to see Ancient Mew. Oh, the Error one? I want to see what this goes for. And then the trophy cards are coming up. We'll pull up the Grand Party cards too. Japanese vending. Let's see what this Portuguese um, in a 10. Whoa. Okay. Okay. This is interesting too. The sealed gift box. The Top Sun, even just for the TV series, I want to see those. The Chinese cards are at a 9 would be cool. All the Chinese cards, usually these go for quite a bit because they're tough to find. And there's a market for those. Chinese base set on limit with Charmander in a binder. And then the Chinese first edition booster box. I want to see what that goes for. And then, um, yeah, it's kind of like just a little bit of mixture. And then we're in the gym. All right. So we got a little bit of time here. Let's, let's, uh, let's start cranking into these. So Lugia... Um, I think it was signed by an illustrator. I don't have time to look at it, but 890, 560 on this nine. Uh, we're opening up a Genesis Japanese box, by the way, guys, on Tuesday. So, whoa! All right, yo, who? <laughs> if you guys grab packs for the Japanese um, Neo Genesis opening, this card just went for over 2,300 in a PSA 10. So, and Japanese cards are a lot easier to grade. So, that's gonna be a wild one. Ancient Me went for 355. Oh, I just missed it. The uh, the Mega Battle Trophy card in a 10 went for $65,000. The number two went for $50,000. We'll definitely look at these ones again at the end of this. Reevaluate some of the big hitters here. Grand Party, $3,500, $4,000. we got to keep moving here. 
Um, all right, the Charizard at 9. Portuguese went for 2,900. 35,000 for a Charizard first edition um, Spanish. Doesn't matter now. Like, the, doesn't matter the language. There's there's a market for all of them. 1,700 for the starter gift box. Um, okay, that's an 8 Charizard TV. Chinese first edition Charizard at 9 went for 14,000. Uh, 8.5 Blastoise, 355. 8.5, 640. All right, so here we go. We got to get caught up a little bit. An 8 Charizard Chinese, 1,000. Chinese Venusaur in a Beckett 9, 700. 3,500 for a Chinese Venusaur. This isn't even first edition either. All right, so we got this binder. It went for $53 or something. Okay. Here it is. 36, about 36,000 for a first edition Chinese um, booster box base set. We got a Mew 8.5 Black Star Hollow going for over a thousand. Wow, 1100. Let's see what this ends at. And then we got, um, oh, that's from before. All right, 1200 ish on the Mew. So, all right, now we're moving into gym challenge. So, we're, we're getting there, guys. There's still, if you guys are still hanging here, we still got over 600 <laughs> listings. We're moving into gym challenge. So, of course, there's Charizards in here. Um, a lot of these are tens. But tell you what, I'm gonna pick, I'm just gonna pull up the tens because this was when it starts getting crazy for these big hitter sets. So let's go, let's go, let's see. Where's did I miss Charizard? Oh, and this is Heroes, right? Heroes, Heroes. Yeah, yeah. This is no. They did challenge. Where, what happened? Did I miss? Maybe there weren't any Charizards. I don't know, guys. I'm getting lost in the sauce here. There's, there's just so many listings, but uh, 1,155 for a Gyarados. A thousand for the Gyarados Rockets Mewtwo 1700. About 1700 for another Rockets Mewtwo. These are PSA 10, so Alakazam 870. Um, Giovanni 290. Got 400 for a Koga in a 10. Sabrina's going for about 300, it looks like. Still got some time on those. Let me do a, a refresh. Maybe there weren't any Charizards from Gym Challenge. Hopefully not, because I didn't see them. All right, so we got nines coming up. A bunch of nines. I want to see this Gengar. I'll, I'll pull up some of the big hitter nines. Gengar is definitely a big hitter. Just because there's so many. Like, there's just so many listings. It's, like, unbelievable the amount of listings right now. There is these Charizards as well. They used to not go for a ton, but now they are. An Entei. And then we start moving into Japanese Neo Revelation, it looks like. And then we move into the Fan Club Eevee. So let me pull those up. We got Fan Club Porygons as well. But you don't really see these too often. I feel like you see the Eevee more. And a lot of um, like Japanese uh, Neo sets. I'm trying to see Genesis. A lot of it's just mixed in here a little bit. And then we got the Lugia. A 9 Neo Genesis first edition. Beckett 9 with a swirl. They put swirl in the title. All caps. Swirl. There's a swirl on it. <laughs> Better be a good looking swirl. And then we move into, into English um, Neo Genesis. So let, let's see what we got here. 300 for the Sabrina, Giovanni 150, the 9, Gengar went for 1,200. So we got a Misty in a PSA 10 from Jim Heroes. Um, that's ending in 20 seconds. So let's, uh, let's, oh, I'm getting lost. Here we go. Okay, let's see what this one ends at. Thank you, everybody that's in the chat. Thank you. Um, sorry I can't read it right now, but I appreciate everybody that's here. I appreciate the mods that are holding it down the chat as well. Um, so let's see, we got a Misty in a 10 going for a little over $500. We got the promo, the Japanese promo Charizard. It's a pretty cool artwork. I like how it's a reverse. It's at $450 right now. And let's see what this ends at. I'm curious to see what this goes for. So at $450 and all right, going for about $450. There's another one at $560. Then we've got the Entei as well, the same style. Really cool looking cards though. Um, that one's at about 150-ish. Three seconds remaining on that. Let's see what that goes for. Okay, about 200-ish. Now we got the Fan Club Eevee and the Gem, Gem Mint 9.5 from Beckett. And it just made that grade. It has three 9.5 subgrades and the 9. So if it had one more 9, it wouldn't have made it. Alright, so let's see what this goes for. Alright, so... About 3000 on that. This one went for 8000 in a PSA 10. I wonder how many of these are, there are in a PSA 10. But you had to redeem your points for these EVs back in the day. Same thing with the Porygon. 1708 9.5 went for about 2000 
And this tens at five thousand dollars. That's a pretty cool artwork though for Porygon. And then we got the Lugia coming up in a Beckett nine. Um, so it's interesting. So the surface got an eight point five, but the corners got a ten. Centering got a nine point five. The edges got a nine. That ends in twenty seven seconds. So let's get a refresh on here, and let's get let, let's see what else is going to be ending as well. So then we're moving into Neo Genesis. So I really want to see these. Oh, there's really not that many more Neo Genesis. There's only a handful. Well, then there's the non-hollows, though. It'd be interesting to see some of these non-hollows go for. And that's really it. Oh, wow. Okay. There's a Wada graded um, Lugia or Pokemon Silver in a six. Is that 900 right now? It's a six, but why is it a six? So it's got some stuff on the back, a little bit of stuff going on. I'm a little bit tempted, guys. I'm not going to lie on this one. Let me know if anybody's bidding on that one. I don't want to bid against any of you guys. 4,000 on the Lugia. That's for a Beckett 9. 900 for the Togetic. The Shuckle. Then the Swinub. These are all non-hollowed, like common cards from Genesis. Um, so this is at 900. All right, let's see what this goes for. I, I'll probably just pass on it in case some of you guys are looking to bid on it right now. 1100 1200 $1,200 for a six. But see, if you don't care about the grade on these things, it's pretty, like, it's not. It's really not bad. I mean, when you put it in the case and everything, it looks pretty solid. All right, congrats to whoever got that. And then we, oh, we're missing it already. We're already on Rocket right now, so the Dark Blastoise. There's a lot. Whoa, okay. And then here's a Charizard. All right, no time to waste. All right, no time to waste. No time to waste. Here's big hitters. Um, all right, we'll skip a couple of the Doug Trio and nine. We'll, we'll hit the tens on some of these. Ten. And where's the boxes? I don't want to miss those. Here they are. They're at 20,000-ish right now. All right, let's uh, let's just go. Blastoise, 1,509. Hollow Rocket, 1,500. Another nine, another nine, another nine. 4,600 for a 10. 1,300 for a seven Zard. 1,400 for an eight. 3,000 for a 9. 3,250 for a 9. 3,400 for a 9. A gem mint, 9.5, 4,600. And the 10 going for over $10,000. $10,200. Another one. Another one going for 10,000. Another one going for 10,600. So about 10,000 on the, that one. A 5 Dragonite. Um, wait, what's the deal with this one? Dragonite not. Oh, this is the error. So it has. This is the error, no hollow version. That went for. Over a thousand for a five, super hard to find. Nine sixty for a nine hollow, thirty seven hundred for a ten. And then we got Golbat. That seems a little bit low for the Dragonite in a ten. I don't know. Just, just judging by, um, judging by Dragonite's popularity. <clears throat> oh, so Mark says I was in a streamer's chat watching the first Age Jungle auction. They were the ones inflating the box to insane prices. So yeah, it was just people have like just messing around literally. Uh, with that, the jungle box that went over for over a million. <laughs> Not worth a million, like a disclaimer. Don't, it's nowhere near that. All right, so here we go. Um, we're going to be moving into the rocket boxes that are ending in a minute. Let me know, guys, in the chat what you think the rocket first edition boxes are going for or what they're going to end at. They're about 20,000. Put your guesses in the chat. 20,000 on the rocket boxes right now. And then let's see what else we have ending. So. We've got the non-hollow. It should be non-hollow, right? Oh, is this hollow? Hollow Unlimited. Okay. I want to look at these Charizards. So, this is a PSA 3 hollow Unlimited Charizard. Okay. So, let's see what this goes for. It's, it's only a 3. So, it definitely has some major wear on the back. Yeah. So, about 150 bucks. An eight going for 575 unlimited Charizard, and then the nines at about 13 or 1100 ish. Then another nine, 1200. All right, rocket boxes are about to end right now. You guys are putting your guesses in 21, 26, 22. Let's see what happens. This one ended about almost 21. This one ended at almost 20. So the, they're going for about 20 ish, 20,000 for the first edition rocket booster boxes. And it's a shame. I really want to know what those jungle boxes were going to go for. I know Jungle's been picking up traction, but they got trolled, so we couldn't really see what those actually went for. All right, now we're moving into Japanese Expedition, which artworks on those are phenomenal. We're moving into the E-Series 
in Japanese. There's a Kokoro Mew, Shining Mews as well. Those are pretty popular. And Japanese verses, which we didn't get in English. Then we move into Discovery as well in English. So they do them in order of release. So Discovery and Revelation are some big hitters as well. Um, there's actually like there's just so many cards from every set that are have been listed up on here and they kind of go back and forth between Japanese and um, English because of release then there's some legendary collection but there's not much this time there's only a couple there's a 10 though legendary collection Venusaur hollow there's a 10 Dragonite reverses that's actually a nice one as well then there we move into um, Neo Destiny so Neo Destiny is another big hitter set there's actually some loose packs there as well so I wonder how they like, figure if those ones are legitimate or on weight or whatever. Um, I wonder what they put in the description on these. So, because I'd be, like, pretty hesitant to grab loose packs. Yeah, I don't know. Who knows what the... Crystal Lugia as well. Then you start moving into the EX era. What is this? Eon Ticket? Pokemon 2003 Eon Ticket Special E3 Limited Edition Sealed Rare. Whoa, what is this? I can't, I can't read it because it says share um, the Eon Ticket. If anybody knows what that is, let me know. Wait, is that to get on? Is that the ticket to get into like a different part of the game? Eon Ticket that you receive in the game by scanning the card can be shared with your friends. Turn off... Um, oh, interesting. Okay. I wonder what those are worth or what those would go for. And then you can move into the EX era after that. That's interesting. Okay. Let's, let's, uh, let's, let's reload and see what's happening right now. All right. So, um, let's go, let's go. So we're, we're going through the, the auctions right now. PWCC, there's still... 460 so let's okay so let's see let's pull up this charizard from japanese web and then we'll go to neo discovery so neo discovery is always good to see there's not that much neo discovery there's a decent bit okay the yanma too that's gonna be a huge one and then some more discovery as well. oh there's a bunch of discovery i don't know how they put these in here but and then revelation is a good one okay Ready, guys? Let's let's uh, let's crush through some of these, and then the sweet tune. Okay, here we go. So uh, the Charizard ending at about eight hundred dollars into nine. The Espeon seven hundred sixty Beckett nine Fortress eight point five about hundred bucks. Uh, we got the Politoed one hundred fifty in an eight. Then we got the Polyrath one fifty in a PSA nine. The Unknown one fifty eight in a Discovery First Edition. Wobbuffet two hundred in a PSA nine. We got the, here we go, the Yanma, $15,400. This is a really difficult card to grade. There's only 12 of them that exist. So this is one of them, went for over 15 grand. So that means that in the world, there can only ever be 12 complete PSA 10 sets of Discovery uh, because there's only 12 of these cards. Or actually, there's probably cards that are lower population than Yanma. So in fact, I, I believe there are uh, 600 for the Ampharos and a 9, 123 for the Blissey. PSA 9265. We got the Celebi over 2,000 and a 10. The Crobat 500 and a 10. Deli Bird about 112 and an 8. These are Revelation, Neo Revelation. 700 for the Deli Bird. Ente in an 8 going for about 500. Neo Revelation, Hal Noom First Edition, PSA 9, 750. Another one, 800. Jump Luff 200 playing in the snow, PSA 9. Gem Mint 10 going for about 500 bucks. Mistrevis, PSA 9 Revelation, go for about 300. Porygon 2 is about 150. Another one about 160. And then the Suicune and PSA 9 go for about $920. Let's get refreshed here and see what is going on right now. And again, guys, sorry I can't read your chats. And um, I appreciate it. I always go through and read everything afterwards. I just, it's, it's difficult to kind of multitask and look at the chat. But I hope you guys are all having a good time in the chat. Keeping it Puga positive as always as we... Watch this craziness unfold right now. PWCC auctions. And, okay, so there's the Japanese first edition Split Earth. So that is like the Japanese version of some of the E-Series cards. And it's like they did two different versions of some of them. And, or they split the setup anyway. Okay, these are cool. Let me just start pulling up some cards. Some of the 
big hitters here because okay and then legendary collection i definitely want to see those venusaur's over a thousand i'm surprised there's not that much legendary collection up and then it moves right into neo Dis uh destiny another big hitter set the last neo set and it has some of the biggest shining cards. I mean, really, probably the really besides Gyarados and Magikarp from Neo Revelation, some of the biggest for sure. So um, let's put, and then the the box toppers as well. And then it switches over to Aquapolis, and then oh, the Crystal Lugia in a PSA ten, and the Nido King in a nine. So all right, and then we're gonna move into EX era. So let's let's finish off the Wizards of the Coast era here. We got the Venusaur Expedition going for seven hundred and ten. Ivysaur Reverse Expedition 200, Bulbasaur 9, about 100 bucks. So now we got the Blastoise uh, Japanese e card promo. It's at about 400 in a PSA 9. It's got the different back as well. So not the original old school one, but that's when they, they changed it up. So that's coming up as well as the Charizard. That's at about $1,300 in a 9. So. All right, so here's what we're going to do. And then we're going to move into the Legendary Collection. There's a Dragonite in a 10. That's at about a thousand, a dark dragonite. There is Hitmon Lee at about 400. 1700 on the Venusaur. Okay. And then the Meowth, the Cedra. All right, let's go. So, Blastoise at about 600. The Charizard is going for about $1,600. We got Dragonite um, is coming up next from Legendary Collection. Take a little breather here, guys. All right, so we got like a little bit of time to get caught up here so let's um let's like reload here and see what some of the highest ones that are left we still got about 400 auctions left so these ones were all relists for the, those other charizards that weren't paid for last time but we still have evolutions huge hitters there are a lot of evolutions psa 10 cards and they're going up for some crazy crazy prices over six thousand on most of these and then we've got the mudkip gold star from rocket returns and a 10 We've got a Staff Charizard and a 9 from Evolutions. Okay. And then I actually have a Dragon's Exalted from the Black and White Era Booster Box. That's a cool set. And there's the Ho-Oh as well from Sky Ridge. There's actually two of them in a 9. Then, of course, the Shiny Charizards, which are like a staple from PWCC Auctions. And, yeah, there's just so much stuff, guys. EX Era stuff. Let me go through. Oh. There's also a Fire Red Leaf Green PSA. That's only a PSA 5. It's already at 500 for a Charizard. Um, wow. Okay. Some people even send in the Darkness of Blaze Booster Box. That's interesting. I feel like that's probably not the best way to go about that one. But All right. So the Dragonite went for 1500 in a PSA 10 Reverse from Legendary Collection. 400 for the Hitmon Lee in 10. 1500 for the Venusaur in a 10 Hollow. The Meowth 8 went for 73. 123 for the 9 Seedra. 10 Seedra went for 300 in reverse. Ampharos in a 9 went for 300 and from Destiny. 1500 for 10 first edition. 300 for, or 800 for the Crobat. For Alligator, 10 first edition. 1500 Hollow. Dark Houndoom, 1500 in a 10. Dark Tide Ranitar going for $3,500. PSA 10 first edition. Neo Destiny. Arcanine in a 9 for about 840. The Azumarill going for about $800 in a Gem Mint 10. Light Dragonite for just under $2,000. Another Light Dragonite going for about $1,500. We got a Steelix Shining from Neo Destiny uh, in a 9 going for $765. We got a Dark Ty, uh, Typhlosion. I don't know if that's hollow or not. The packs went for over $3,000 for uh, three packs first edition. So a little over $1,000 a pack. The Box Topper in a 10 for the Espeon went for $1,100-ish. Now we're into the... Aquapolis Houndoom went for over 2000 2200-ish. Um, the Zapdos from Aquapolis and a PSA 10 go for about $660. There we go. Crystal Lugia breaking through $10,000 from Aquapolis. That's a big one, guys. What do you think of that Crystal Lugia going for over $10,000 at a PSA 10 from Aquapolis? We also have the Nido King going for about $820 in a 9. All right. We got to get back to it. Where are we at here? Ending... Um, soonest. Okay. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Here are these tickets from E3. So that was, I guess you had to be, I don't know if you had to be at E3 for this When the, I'm really not sure about these. These are, these are kind of intriguing to me. 
Oh no, they just are they just tickets with like a, a thing on them or not even like a It says sealed. If anybody knows about these, let me know. I guess it is a box. Yeah, I guess there's like something in here that you can use to trade or do something in the game. I want to see what these go for. About $760 for two of them. Okay. Interesting. All right, let's reload here. All right. We're through the Wizard of the Coast era. Now we're on to the EX era of Pokemon cards. And they started off with the Japanese cards. So, and then we move into... Oh, no, we're still, we still have some Skyridge left in English. So we're still in the Wizard of the Coast. That's how much stuff is up here. <laughs> Alright, Moltres. We've got some more Sky Ridge. Sky Ridge is the last set that Wizards of the Coast printed, and it got cut short. So that's why Sky Ridge is really tough to find. But not only that, it's got some really nice artworks um, in there as well. So we got a Moltres coming up, a Nido Queen, Hollow coming up in a PSA 10, um, another Moltres as well in a 10, Raikou in a 9, Hollow, Starmie. I love that artwork. We got also a, yeah, Starmie in a 9, a Crobat Reverse. We got a Ho-Oh in a 9 as well. And then another one in a 9, and then a Reverse in a 9. So let's see what happens here. The Moltres is going to be ending in about 20 seconds. That's a PSA 9. It's already at over $500. But again, this is Sky Ridge that we're talking about. And after that, we move into Fire Red Leaf Green as well. That's coming up. Interesting enough, it comes up right after... For some reason after sky ridge and then so i don't oh maybe they do the ex cards okay so the big hitters let's pull these up now so we have them so like the exs the gold star okay jolteon delta species ex well there's a gold star latius as well another ex there yeah, i'm not sure how they how they have these but a lot of exs is what i see let me pull some of those up okay i think that should be good Let, let's see what's happening right now Moltres 530, Nido Queen 700, 69 for the Moltres in a 10, 325 for the Raikou, 360 for the Starmie, Crobat Reverse 9, 235, 600 for this, the Ho Oh, almost 2000 for the, another 9 Ho Oh, 465 for the Reverse 9, Blastoise EX, Fire Red Leaf Green, ending PSA 10 for over $5,000. That's a big one. Charizard in a PSA 5 going for $600 from Fire Red Leaf Green. Articuno in a 9, 457. 330 for the Entei um, in a 9. Snorlax, $735 for a PSA 9 from Rocket Returns. That's a cool Snorlax. That may be one of the coolest Snorlax cards. Um, really just a different look because it's got the. It's from Rocket Returns, which is an awesome set. Suicune, 560 in a 9. Rocket Returns artworks are really cool. Mudkip. Gold Star going for over $7,000 in a PSA 10. A Jolteon, Delta Species, PSA 8 EX card. And then we move into the Latius Gold Star. It's a Gem Mint from Beckett 9.5. There's actually two 10 subgrades, a 9.5 and a 9. So that's a pretty strong 9.5 besides the corners on that. So let's see what this one goes for. It's at 4,000. 4,850. 5,800 last second. Somebody sniped that. Almost $6,000 for that card. We had a Raikou in a 9. Alright, now this one's a 6 Raichu. Going for about 70. Gonna probably end around there. A Typhlosion EX, about $100 for a PSA. 125. Okay. And then the Celebi in a 9, going for $760 last second for a 9. Unseen Forces EX Celebi. So let's um let's see what's happening here because we're coming, we're starting to come down to it a little bit because we're getting through the EX era of i guess they just did the ex cards first from the ex era or maybe that's what people submit it i'm not sure but anyway there's some good ones so lucario power keepers charizards i want to see these there's actually a 10 wow i actually didn't see that one earlier it's at 2700 dollars there's some power keepers loose packs um okay then we move through it's kind of confusing on some of these how they mixed in Okay, and then we're in a Diamond and Pearl era. Actually, people submitted Diamond and Pearl cards, which is cool to see. So I want to see some of these, even though a lot of them are nines. Diamond and Pearl has been picking up, too. It's like it's a lot of stuff mixed in here. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There's also black and white. So there's not a lot. There's really not much from Diamond and Pearl or anything. But 
There's also a Keldeo EX, and then we move into the, the Black and White era, and then we're, like, pushing through to, like, starting to get into modern stuff, like Flash Fire and stuff like that. So, let's see what these end at. So, um, this Mew in Japanese Forest went for about 150. Then the Lucario, level X, Black Star promo. So, this must have been, like, on a tin or something, DP12. And these are usually tough to grade because they get bent up when they're in those, but about $300 for a 9. Charizard Power Keepers an eight two seventy five another one two thirty seven let's see what the ten goes for it's at thirty six hundred um, this is Power Keepers two thousand seven EX Power Keepers forty six hundred dollars forty six hundred dollars on that one we've got Vaporeon um, uh, EX Power Keepers Gold Star nine hundred twenty dollars for a nine point five Power Keepers packs eight hundred dollars for seven of them. All right, so then we move into Diamond and Pearl Great Encounters, which I'm surprised to see. A lot of, you really don't see much Diamond and Pearl stuff. But we got that. Uh, we got Legends Awakened. So a couple other hollows here. Yan Mega from Legends Awakened. Cresselia. Keldeo EX from Black and... Then we move into Black and White. There's really not much Black and White up either, but there is this box. Dragon's Exalted. That's at about 1600 at the moment. So let's do a refresh on here and see how we're looking. We are... Let's see. We're at right around here, so let me... Okay, so this is cool. The 15th anniversary Full Art Pikachu as well. You had to get a special set for these. Um, I wish I grabbed some of these, but I never did. Really cool artworks for Pikachu, though. And then Flash Fire. These are just like the regular Charizards EXs that are going for quite a bit from Flash Fire. But those are the only Flash Fires... Then we have a staff promo Charizard, CGC graded, another different version of a Black Star Charizard. Yeah, it's kind of like it's confusing. And then there's just some random Roaring Skies stuff up, like this Natsu for some reason. Somebody submitted that. Ancient Origins, that's okay. And then Elite Trainer Box is a Primal Clash. I've actually really never seen these too often. So they're pushing over $300. And then we move into. The Charizard, let's see, for CP6, and then Evolutions. And then uh, this is big. So if you guys don't know, like, Evolutions has been blowing up. I think booster boxes are going for about $500. Charizard from the set in a PSA 10 for the hollow version is really, really, really hard to grade. And we see there's a bunch up that are over $6,000. I want to see what those end at because Evolutions is blowing up. There's also the full art Charizard. There's the Evolution, there, like, just all the Charizards in the set. Have been blown up, and then there's a staff promo nine Charizard. So let's let's go with that that stuff that we pulled up here. So 300 for the Tokus PSA nine great encounters. That's I'm actually surprised on that one. Some more Diamond and Pearl stuff not going for a ton. 50 bucks or so for a lot of that. Keldeo EX and have, you know 34 dollars. Uh, black and white boundaries crossed. Here's the Dragon's Exalted booster boxes. That's 1700. So uh, let's see what that ends at. Let's see what that one goes for. 2000 okay dragons exalted black and white booster box went for about two thousand dollars now this anniversary pikachu 1400 in a psa 10 now we're moving into flash fire so flash fire is a, another set from the x and y era. it's the most expensive set from um that era so let's see 33 although evolutions has been picking up <laughs> flash fire okay 200 and a 10 for just a regular EX Charizard. Um, 56 on that one. Okay, this is like an 8.5, so $30 on there. Ancient Origins. Giratina, 400, 145. Then we move into Primal Clash Elite Trainer Boxes, which kind of curious what these go for. I've never even really looked at the prices on these. They look pretty cool. You got Groudon on one and then Kyogre on the other. So there's 30 seconds left on those. And then we move into the CP6 Charizard. And I'm interested to see what that one goes for. So that's at over a thousand. Flying Pikachu Korokoro. And then we move into the Evolutions uh, Charizard. Arita Auto Certified. So it wasn't great. It was just certified as authentic and the yeah, for the for both both the card and the signature. Then we move into the Evolutions Charizard. There's a nine that's at fourteen hundred, a seven that's at three hundred and ten. 6,800 on one of those 10s. Around 6,000 for the 10s. So let's see what happens here. 325 for that. 380 for those Elite Trainer Boxes. 
1100 ish for the CP6 Zard. All right, Flying Pikachu is at about 900. We'll skip that one so we can get caught up here because I want to see what these go for. So this one is not even graded, but it is signed from Arita, the original artist of Charizard. It's at 2400. It's authenticated. It looks pretty good. I mean, it looks like it would grade high. I guess they just didn't want to put a grade on it for some reason. I don't know. 2600 on that one. The 9 is at 1450. Let's see what this one goes for as well. All right, about 1450. Then we got a 7, 300. Let's see what this 10 goes for. 6,800 on this 10. This one's at about 6,100. This is a card that you could pull literally very easy. Very easily you can pull this card, guys. But you, it's really tough to grade it in a 10. 6,400. 1,300 for a reverse in a 10. 1,800 for another reverse Charizard in a 10 for Evolution. 1,700 for another one. So those are going for about 1600 1700 The 10s are going for like $6,000 plus Evolutions Charizard. Craziness. All right, another Evolutions Mega Charizard going for about 400 Full Art Charizard from Evolutions going for about 465 So it's just, it goes to show you, even though this card's rare, it's got the full art, it's got the texture, it goes for about 500 whereas the original Charizard base set in the 10 goes for like six grand. That's the power of the original base set Charizard artwork, guys. A nine um, Evolution Staff pre-release card, Charizard, going for about 4250 in a PSA 9. All right, so let's get let's get a reload here and see what we're looking at, see how much is left here. Um, okay, so now we're moving through it. We might have missed the Hidden Fates Charizards. Oh, no, we didn't. Okay, we're still good. Um, so we move through some stuff. There's some Burning Shadows Charizards. Let's pull these ones up. The Rainbow Rare, a 9, and a 10. I'm curious to see what this 10 goes for. It's over 2,000. We got a Shining Genesect from um, Shining Legends and a Shining Mew and a 9 from CGC. That's cool to see. Test Tube Mewtwo Shining Legends would be cool to see as well in a PSA 10. Um, okay. So then we move through here. Oh, these are cool. The Scream Promos, Psyducks, and Eevees. There's a lot of them. These are always um, interesting to see. Then there's the collector stamped Charizards, which you can't get those graded. Um, okay. What else do we have here besides that? Japanese Center promo Pikachu's. Some other char uh, pre-release staff Charizard, Black Star. I want to see what that one goes for too. And then we move into. These are cool. The Stained Glass Elite Trainer Box Legendary Birds. Those are um, really cool as well. And then we've got some Hidden Fates Charizards in 9. These are the tin Charizards that you could get on the Hidden Fates tins. Unbroken Bonds. So, alright. And then the Shiny Charizard. So let's pull up the Shiny Charizards as well. Always got to see what those go for. And, okay, let's start it off here. So, Rainbow Rare Charizard PSA 9 from Burning Shadows went for about $760. The Rainbow, um, so this is interesting. The Rainbow Charizard from Burning Shadows in a PSA 10 went for about $3,000. This is actually a lot tougher of a card to get in a PSA 10 in comparison to the Shiny Charizard GX because Burning Shadows um, is actually just, just like to grade the cards. It's super difficult. So, I don't know how this one got a 10 actually. It looks to me like... I don't know how it works with the borders on a lot of these. It's really confusing. You guys let me know what you think of that one. Shining Genesect went for about 150 bucks. Mew 90. 750 for the Secret Rare Mewtwo from Shining Legends. About 600 for the Psyduck Scream promo. Another 600 one. About 400 for the Eevee. 200 for the Rallet. 250 for the Rallet. Charizard Staff promo going for. Uh, it's at 4,000 right now. So this is. I mean, this is from Team Up. So you can get these from, um, you know, staff uh, from, you know, your local card shop if they get them in as, as a staff, like, um, stamped cards of these. You can also get the one without the stamp on them. But the one with the, sta the staff stamp on these goes for quite a lot more. They're, like, the rarest version of these. So it's at 4000 It's in a 10. I don't know how many of these exist. I don't know if they wrote it in here. But, no, like, that's the close-up of the card, though. I, I really like the artwork on this one. One of my favorite... Uh, pre-release Charizards. So there's also a pre-release Charizard coming out for Vivid Voltage as well. That's another big one. The arc on that one's pretty cool too. But they just throw they're throwing Charizards down. <laughs> Pokemon knows what to do, what people want. 
And then the, the stained glass birds, you get these from the um, Hidden Fates Elite Trainer Boxes. So these are always cool to see. You know, that's another reason why some of the Hidden Fates Elite Trainer Boxes are expensive because you get this really cool, unique artwork of the legendary birds as like a stained glass thing, as a promo card. And you can only get them from the Elite Trainer Boxes. So those, there's a bunch of those. And then the Shiny Charizard GX, of course, everybody knows that. About 1500 on those. But you'll notice that the, the Rainbow Charizard is going for more from Burning Shadows. Staff Charizard from Team Up going for about $5,600 in a PSA 10. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I like the artwork on that thing. And then the Stained Glass going for about 150 I don't know what the population of these are in a PSA 10, but I think it's a solid price for those. I really like the artwork on those. On 180 on that one, and then 165 on that one. So Shiny Charizard GX, um, I, I really think they kind of like kind of uh evened out or whatever you want to call it on the prices on these i feel like that's what they've been selling for now about 1500 ish so i'm not sure i haven't checked in a while but i feel like they kind of leveled off at this point because um they're not the most difficult to grade but if you compare it to like burning shadows that's a lot more difficult to grade so these are all at about 1500 ish that one's at 1400 but we'll see what those ones end for and let's get a reload on here and see what else we have left here. Again, they do these in order of like the oldest to the newest stuff. And like here's uh, if you guys remember last time we did this, the Rayquazas. So like there's a lot of these Rayquazas that didn't get paid for. So if you put these in order of like ending soonest to um, latest, like the ones with the two days left are all the ones that got relisted. So like if you look at last time's auctions, you know all of these Rayquaz. There was way more than what's here, but like there's probably about what, like 25. Rayquazas, but there were like hundreds last time. So that's how you could see like what was actually relisted on those. And uh, there's actually that level X Rayquaza from Supreme Victors got relisted. This is a, uh, I know some people that wanted this. And then, yeah, some more. And then uh, Reverse Squirtle got relisted in a nine, some Charizards. So these all have two days left. Um, a bunch of these Charizards actually get relisted, guys, but they're probably going to go for more next round because that's what seems to be the trend here. And then, like, that was all that. So all these were relisted from last time. But I, I would think more would be realistic this time because of how many more listings there are. Um, especially those jungle boxes. I don't know what they're going to do about that. But here we go. Shiny Charizard. Yep, about 1,500 on that. They've really stabilized. 1,400 and another one about 1,500. So they're, they're with like 1,400 to 1,500 right now. They really kind of stabilized because of the supply because they are easier to grade. But Burning Shadows is, I mean, that way more tough to grade, you know, all around. And honestly, the pool, I, I feel like the Burning Shadows Charizard is actually more difficult to pull but that's just based on what i've opened up and seen so i could be wrong but I, I, that's what i feel like so some other stuff that we have here is some detective pikachu stuff um nothing too crazy on that and then we also have so the darkness ablaze um v max well this is japanese actually i don't know if there's any english but all japanese for some reason it's probably just the same person i don't know just put them all. Oh, it's a black label, though. Kind of cool to see what that one goes for. And, um, are these English? I can't. It's hard to see. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think these ones are English. So I want to see what these go for. Um, wait. So there's so many. Like, look at all these. Okay. Let me focus here. What? Uh, okay, yeah. So English, 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 English. You guys got to be careful with modern with modern cards new releases because there's just so many getting put up here and then let's see what else we got here so this is just like more modern stuff sword and shield um we got some gold cards like the Z the zation and there's like a random darkness of blaze booster box up and then that's like the final thing that's up i guess that's the most modern thing that they have on here so i want to see what this goes for it's at 1200 it's a black label japanese sword and shield starter set charizard you have to get these out of like a, a starter set thing um so I think it was like a big box set that came with it. But this has perfect grade. So perfect 10s all around a black label, the toughest to get. But you do have a better shots if you grade Japanese cards because their quality control is much better. So um, let's see what this goes for. It's at 1200 I have no idea what, what this would go for, if it's going to go any higher than this last second or not, what the demand is for something like this. It's not like a huge, huge demand, but 1200 But it is a black label, so keep that in mind. Um, so Darkness of Blaze, Full Art Charizard, $555 for a 10. Another one about 500 
Another one going for about 500-ish. So it looks like these ones are kind of stabilizing at about 500 at the moment. Because you got to be careful if, uh, I'm assuming the same person sent all these in. Because you can see all the grades, like the serial numbers are all one after the other. So they just decided to send them all in at once and, and get rid of them. But um, it does hold the prices back too when you put up so much at the same time. Because there's such a bigger supply all ending at the same time. But um, you don't know what the future is going to be for these cars. Because, you know, there's a lot of them out there. So, you know, 230 for 9.5. And then the Zacian gold cards ending in 45 seconds so let's do a quick refresh here and see what else so besides that i mean that's that's all the listings here that are ending there's a couple more cards but what i want to do now is i want to go through and i want to see what actually happened here tonight so we don't really need to see this one it's, uh it's going to be ending but what we'll do is now i'm going to go to ended and we can actually see like the aftermath of this so i'm going to go highest first and they don't let you do it by... <laughs> All right, we just got to address this. 100%, 100,000% trolled listing. Went for $1.2 million. Again, guys, this is not anywhere near the price of a Jungle First Edition booster box. So keep that in mind if you're purchasing something like this. Don't get, like, twisted with this price. This is, like, 100% people trolling this thing. So I don't know what they're going to have to do with this one. They're, they're going to have to relist it, you know? But this started getting trolled earlier, and I think it was just a, a turn into like a meme at, at some point with people trolling this thing. This it was only it was like this jungle booster box particularly like had to get trolled for some reason. I feel bad whoever's trying to sell on that, just trying to sell that. They're just like, Ugh. <laughs> but okay, some big hitters here. Uh, one of the biggest surprises really is this trophy Kangaskai. I mean, it's really not a huge surprise anymore because. It's a population one of eleven. It's one of the top trophy cards out. Um, that the parent child trophy card where they had to compete together, and um, you know they were they're awarded these for a parent and a child together. That's why it's the Ket Trophy Kangaskhan because it's supposed to be like that's the kid and that's the parent. So it's a really really I iconic trophy card, a really cool one. And uh, you know there's not many at all in a PSA 10. So 150,000. This you guys are gonna see a trend for trophy cards. I think. Uh, just keep going up and up and up because it just once the bigger money collectors start coming in and they realize like trophy cards are the rarest of the rarest. Yeah, there's Charizard for sure, which hits mainstream and it's super rare in itself. But like the rarity tier for trophy cards in comparison, it's crazy because like if you want this card in a 10, again, there's only 11 of them. As long as this is correct up here, there's only 11 of um, those those cards like in existence. So, um, yeah, it's it's. You know, it's it's expected at this point, honestly. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if like an illustrator is selling for a million dollars. So we got the 9.5. That was a big one as well. We can't even address. I, I, this one was clearly trolled as well because, like we saw earlier, there was uh, there's a tr there's a jungle booster box listed right now for thirty five thousand dollars or best offer um, on eBay. So. This is another one that was most likely trolled. I mean, it has to be. I, I mean, I would assume it's trolled. Because it, you could buy one for half the price right now. And that leads me to the other thing. I want to see if that other one sold. I guess that it would have it sold. It would sell during this or tonight, probably. The one that was up for 35. So let's see if it's still up. It could be wrong, but I just had a feeling. So it's still up. But this one was just listed at 30,000 starting bid. See. If the only reason that I probably didn't sell is because people might be trying to make a deal on it or still trying to get a shot at these auctions. There's one at 14, one at 20,000 from private sellers. There's one at 30,000 now too. So, um, so let's see what other big hitters. So again, like the 9.5 Charizard going for $128,000, a gem mint through Beckett's eyes anyway. So you can, it's the lowest like tier 9.5 because there's no 10 subgrades and there's three 9.5s and a 9 so that's like the lowest subgrades you can get to get that 9.5 grade on the card it's got a thick stamp here as well and it went for about 128,000. so we'll have to see if that actually gets sold uh paid for or not um basically what we could do is we could just see like after uh you know this is over for when they list next month's auctions if these show up as well but really the jungle boxes are going to get relisted and then there's another trophy card here the tropical mega battle with the Psyduck on there, um, another big hitter trophy card went for about $65,000, and it was another Gem Mint 10 card. So 
trophy cards are pulling ahead and Charizard first edition cards as well. I mean, you guys probably know, you know, we don't have to go through every single Charizard because there's a lot. You know, a nine went for 60,000, a couple of nines went for about 60,000, and then a nine. That's interesting. The nine. So, okay. I want to address this because let me just double check this, the Charizards here. So, there, the nine from Beckett actually went for more than the PSA nine. So, uh, let's, this is what I'm talking about. So, I feel like some of these grading card companies are going to start pulling in more of the market besides PSA because you have so many collectors coming in from different categories that are used to using Beckett. And with Pokemon, we're so used to using PSA, but I feel like Beckett is really starting to take more and more of the market. I mean, it's still a far cry away from PSA right now, but you never know. So anyway, so this this Beckett 9 went for 60000 Let me just double check. So it's a thin stamp, and then there's one that's a 9 that's a thick stamp. 9, 9, 9.5, 9.5, 9, 9, 9, 8.5. Okay, so this one's weaker, but it still went for about the same-ish. And then we go to the 9... From Beckett, that only went for fifty five thousand dollars. So it's a thin stamp. Um, it's a really old cert. So you guys can see, like, it's actually back in the day. If you guys didn't know, they actually used to put like clear. It's like a really. I'm just gonna say it's a really annoying like thing that they used to do. Thankfully, they don't do it anymore. But they put like this. It's not even like a top loader. It's just like this weird like plastic that went around the card. Like, yeah, it's cool to protect it, but like. If you want to look at the card, really hard to see it. It gets so so many glares. It's not like the Beckett sleeve that they would put on, but this was for. I mean, this is way back. You're talking like look how low this 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 subgrade or the the serial number is. I mean, we're up to like what like forty whatever million cards or I don't even know what it's at anymore. But uh, that's like super long time ago, really long time ago, like probably early 2000s or something. I, I don't even know. But anyway, they used to put this on the card, so maybe that's maybe that like took away from some of the price on this that's the only thing i could i could i could guess because most of the time psa nines go for more than beckett nines especially like a weak beckett nine like this is all nines all around it's the it's the it's one away from an 8.5 and then this one is this one's a little bit better but yeah it's like it's interesting that's all i th i feel like maybe the old serial but you can get it re um Recase too, but like even they had tr trouble trying to take a photo of this because you see some glare down here and stuff. So um, let's see what else. So we had the nine Charizards, other than the, the Tropical Mega Battle number two, as well as the University Magikarp, some more you know big hitter uh, trophy cards from back in the day. I feel like you're just gonna see a trend here with trophy cards as more and more people realize what they are, as more and more people appreciate them, going for like the super rare stuff and not just the first edition base at Charizard. You're gonna see trophy cards uh, start going more and more in my opinion anyway this was this was another huge one i couldn't believe all the top sun i've asked to be from the same person these are unbelievable honestly i mean again guys this is the top sun these are blue backs top sun charizard hollow in a gem mint 10 i have no idea how many of these exist if anybody knows how many of these exist in a psa 10 let me know it really can't be many but like just to reiterate, a Top Sun booster box, you can open up the entire booster box. There's 20 packs in there, and I think they only put one hollow in the entire box. One hollow in the entire booster box. So to pull this card, I mean, crazy rare. Like, honestly, I think that this thing is probably going to blow up eventually. Let me know what you guys think. I really think that this thing's going to blow up way more once people realize what it is. It's at 37000 was what this sold for, but... Yeah. I, I, I That's what I'm thinking. I, I mean, it... Yeah. Crazy, crazy. And I think you can actually open up a an entire booster box. I don't even know if you're guaranteed... I don't even know if you're, if you're guaranteed um, a hollow. I, I think it's one per box, but you, you might not even get one in a box. So besides that, we have the uh, the base set um, booster box, which went for $35,000. So 
This was one that I was expecting probably around there. I was thinking it might have had a shot to push up to 40,000 tonight. Um, but 35, 8, that might be the highest known sale for one of these. I'm not totally sure, but you can also check the markets. You can go like base and see what's happening. You know, base unlimited box Pokemon. Let's see what let's see like what's available right now. I'm just kind of curious if that one for 35. So this one's at auction. It's at 34. So this is there's I, I did see a bunch of people starting to like put up base unlimited boxes now. So um, it'd be interesting to see what happens with these because there is a decent amount of them on auction right now. There's a decent amount of people. You got to remember this is one of the most printed sets, but it's you know it's extremely old. So, but yeah, so this is kind of holding it back a little bit. Th these two and these. So if if people are looking to like grab a base unlimited booster box, probably. A, good timing once all these are up together like i have a bunch of these on my watch list actually because i'm just curious to see what happens here but uh it looks like it might level off around 35 for a little bit but like once these clear out yeah it's gonna be interesting to see what happens chinese first edition base set unlimited is very rare i mean these are tough to find going for about thirty-six thousand. and then this one was really interesting to me actually uh both of these and this all right, this, so check this out. When you start to see base set unlimited pull out ahead and the, the other language first edition Charizards, you know it's like a worldwide thing, right? Because there's, there's certain markets for each of these cards. So when we look at this, we see a Gem Mint 10 Spanish first edition Charizard. Went for $35,000. And again, guys, you know, it's all not 100% until everything is paid for fully. But like just, you know, most of the stuff is going to get paid for. Right, so there's probably like a certain percentage of stuff that doesn't get paid for. Let's just like maybe guess like five percent, maybe or whatever. That that would be my guess of, of like what doesn't get paid for. But like assuming this gets paid for, thirty five thousand for this card. There's only seven that exist, and people are you know all around the world are, are are really really interested in Pokemon cards, old Pokemon cards in German, um, Glurak, right, Charizard. They're around the same price as well, first edition, and like you got to remember, guys, that. These cards in these other languages never got the shadowless print run, so they're all with the unlimited style because these came after the English. So, the you know, German you never got to see the shadowless, so this is the top of the top for the for German cards, um, and like Spanish, etc. But this one really shocked me, but I guess it makes sense at this point if a base unlimited booster box is going for 35 thousand dollars or so um is it went for thirty thousand dollars i mean guys let me know in the chat what you think about this uh charizard base set unlimited going for oh really almost thirty one thousand dollars at this point again i i remember when this card was like fifteen hundred dollars i mean i don't know if anybody remembers what this was going for at the beginning of the year um let me know because you can actually go to i'm actually curious now pokemonprice.com and we can kind of see. I don't know why I'm not loading now. There we go. No? Okay. I don't know. Maybe everybody's on PokemonPrice.com right now. But anyway, oh, maybe we can do it. I, I, I'm just curious. Like, what, what did Charizard? What was it going for? Base set unlimited Charizard. What was it going for earlier this year in compared comparison to now? Uh, so PSA 10. Yeah, it's like freezing up on me. Okay, so okay, so we can like just follow this a little bit. So July like six thousand, yes, nine thousand in August. We keep going back five thousand. May four thousand. <laughs> March of this year two thousand. Uh, under two thousand February. Yeah, it was like it was like it, that's where the price was. It was at like fifteen hundred to two thousand in the beginning of the year. Now it's going for 30 or, you know, as long as it gets paid for or whatever. Um, yeah. Very interesting. Very interesting stuff going on here. So, and then this Shadowless Charizard should be coming up too. Um, this is old stuff. I got to make sure. You got to make sure this is all October 27th because this is mixed in a little bit. Um, and then the Rocket Box is going for about $20,000 each. We have some other language Charizards that end it pretty high. The top, this is another good, this is another big one. Same with the fossil boxes. That was pretty interesting to me. The Blastoise 2. 
that was actually really interesting. So the fossil boxes went for about eighteen to twenty thousand ish. Or actually, seventeen, sixteen, six hundred to twenty thousand ish. There's a wide range on those. But there's another one where the Blastoise again. This is the rarity tiers of these Top Sun Hollow cards is like it's just like on another level. I mean, yeah, Blastoise PSA ten. Another one I have no idea how. There's twelve of them. They put it in there. Surprisingly, there's twelve of these. Twenty thousand on that one. Super, super incredibly difficult to pull. Uh, 20,000 on the Blastoise in a 9 first edition. And then we keep moving through a jungle. There's some big hitters like Snorlax first edition in a uh, Gem Mint 10. Went for like over 15 grand. The Yanma, which went for about 15. as It's another tip, really difficult card to grade. The Pikachu too. That's another top sun that went for uh, 15 grand. A top sun hollow card the vaporeon for 15 that was another big hitter that i wasn't expecting as well um of course we keep going through here the venusaur went for 12 all those top sun that was i mean it makes sense to go based off the rarity and how old they are i mean it's the original of the original of the original <laughs> it's like base set in english is the original then you go back to japanese is like the original of that and then going back from that it's like top sun is like the oldest of the oldest so you're seeing top sun stuff like blowing up the Dragonite was actually another big one that I, that surprised me. Ten thousand for that from Fossil in a ten. Um, but yeah, you can see like last last month, guys. Fossil booster boxes, eight thousand. That was last month's. More, they doubled, more than doubled. Fan club, EV, eight thousand as well. And I think we should be coming up on those evolutions Charizard. These were big, sixty-eight hundred for the evolutions Charizard. Uh, just, just like a lot, like 6,000 on a lot of these as well. Really interesting stuff. We we'll see what's happening with the market right now. The team up staff promo 5,600. And then we had some more of those. The Mewtwo went for 5,400 and a 10. The tops on hollow. I mean, they just like, I haven't really, I, I'll be honest. Like I never really looked at these, like really just sat and admired them. But like, I'm, <laughs> I'm really liking these. I don't own a single one of these, by the way. So it's like, <laughs> I wish I did own like at least like a couple of them because like, it's just really cool. These are like full art. Got the cool like, um, whatever you want to call pattern in the background. You see the other Pokemon back there too. Different color. I mean, they're really, really cool. Uh, I, I got, I got. I really feel like these are gonna really start blowing up if you can find them. If if they start being listed, honestly. But um, yeah, really, really cool stuff. I wish I picked up a couple of those. Well, not now. I, I mean, it's just you know the prices. Is, yeah, <laughs> you know they're up there. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. Is, I mean, that's pretty much it. Like that. That was today's PWCC auction, guys. I really appreciate you um, tuning in to this auctions. You know, we do this every month, guys. If you're not subscribed here, um, consider subscribing to the channel on your way out. Consider smashing that like button on your way out if you enjoyed the video. And yeah, guys, I think that is gonna do it for today. Thank you to everybody that tuned in for this late. It's uh like 12 past 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time here. So, again, I appreciate all of you being a part of this. Come back tomorrow, guys. We got some live videos going down here in the Pug Cave. As always, guys, hope to see everybody here uh, back at it tomorrow. And, um, yeah, hope you guys had a great day, and I will see you on the next one.